Hi everybody, it's Tom Trams with Linux MCE doing a quick demonstration of Migo IVI running on the Arcus 9 tablet. This is a very quick demonstration just showing uh, the base distribution working as it should on the tablet. No interface changes have been done at this point, uh, no modifications have been made except just to get this, the, drive, the graphic driver installed and working on the hardware and to get the touchscreen working. Still left to do, get proper ne get proper wireless network support using the B43 driver. As you can see the standard BIOS here, but also uh, right now a very nondescript boot up sequence, everything is completely blank. I'll take, you know, this would be replaced with a splash screen a bit later, but uh, as you can see the hard drive is loading in the operating system. We are at uh, six and a half seconds already up to X and a cursor, and the UI is present. Uh, this is the IVI UI as specified by the base MIGO distribution at this point in time. Uh, very Spartan at this point, desktop background, a home button here, and a close button for the active window. Uh, as you can see, no kinetic scrolling, but just basic drag scrolling at this point. It works okay, though, for what it needs to do. Uh, no network connection, but I'll go ahead and open up the browser anyway. As you can see here, a basic browser UI. Uh, we can basically just go ahead and... Uh, I'll go ahead and do a quick little demonstration here. Kinetic scrolling, etc. Everything you need in order to work. Address bar here. Drag a little to the left. Have your open tabs, open windows. Bring that off. Or you have your tab positioning and favorite page button over here. This is all standard features as part of the Fennec browser. And when we're done, we can basically just close the thing and get done with it. Uh, other things available include... Uh, an example GPS navigation system that's uh, brought on here. The map data is completely example at this point, but I think it was there originally just to demonstrate the uh, viability of the navigation system here. Mm, fairly Spartan, I guess. Go ahead and close that off. Uh, it is completely accelerated, however, I don't have any codecs, etc. to test video acceleration just yet. That'll happen sometime later. I'm not even entirely sure I'm going to take and keep this particular UI on here. I just wanted to get something that I knew I could take and connect to. But, as you can see, any application that specifies a main window, the main window will automatically be pushed full screen. And... Any transient windows will simply appear in the middle. As you see here, multiple windows here, flip back and forth between them. So, at this point, this is what I have here. Like I said, I'm not even sure I'm going to keep this on here, but I wanted to do just give a quick little progress update here. And with that in mind, we take and we hit the power off button here. Hold it down for a minute, and the system will simply turn off. Okay, so that's it, fellas. See you next time.